This is Access Houston on 97.9 The Box. Good Sunday morning. You're listening to Access Houston. I'm your host, KG Smooth. Welcoming back my guy. He is the director of marketing for Baker Ripley. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Frederick Goodall is back. Mr. Frederick J. Goodall is back. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good I'm to see you. I'm doing great, KG. How are you doing? I am doing well. I've got no complaints. You know, um, we're in the third quarter, bro. That's right. That's right. Keep moving forward. Keep it moving forward. And um, you guys over at Baker Ripley, as we get ready for um, Thanksgiving, even though when I go out to these stores, I'm seeing Christmas stuff. It's like <laughs> it's like right after Labor Day, yes. there's Halloween stuff. Yes. I was and telling then, my friend who uh, just moved here uh, from South Africa, uh-huh. like, so it goes from uh, summer to Christmas immediately. Immediately. <laughs> immediately. It's like there's nothing like, what What are these people yes, doing? Yes. Like, we, we, we don't even get a break. They yes. just want to shove it to us all at one time. But um, as we are gearing up for the holiday season, uh, you all are back with your Baker Ripley Houston turkey trot, which is um, every year. Uh, so tell us about, well, first, with everybody that's moving to Houston mm-hmm. in droves, they may not even be familiar with Baker right. Ripley um, and everything that you all offer over there at the Neighborhood Center. So uh, first, tell us about Baker Ripley. So Baker Ripley, uh, our mission is to uh, just help people live the life they've imagined. So we have so many programs and services to help low-income people uh, just find some opportunity throughout the city. So we have uh, everything from early childhood education. We have charter schools. We have adult education, uh, job training so people can find jobs that pay a living wage, uh, If you want to start a business, we have entrepreneurial services, uh, so you can have an impact in your community that way. Uh, Dementia care and uh, so many other services just to help people just improve their lives and and live a better life uh, and make sure everyone has access because that's the key. Giving people access to what's available, letting them know what's available and giving them the tools and resources to to take advantage of it. Yeah, and you guys have really... um you guys are the real MVP, MVPs through all of the devastation that goes down. Yeah. Um, I specifically remember how you all were volunteering and really stepping up during Hurricane Harvey and, and offering a lot of aid. Yes, uh, we operated the uh, shelter at NRG during Harvey. Right. And that was just an amazing experience to be able to help so many people during this crucial time and to give them the support they needed at that moment. Uh, You know, I was there, I was talking to the people, I was within the mix, and for me it was personally fulfilling to just see what we can do to help someone at their their darkest hour, really, and to help them rebuild and and lift up uh, themselves and their families and restart and, and go forward after this devastation that they've experienced in their lives. And, and then we just experienced another devastation yes, know, about three weeks ago right, with right. Amelda. Yes, How did you all hold up with that? And, and uh, were people, were the community, were they looking to you all for help then as well? Well, we try and support the community wherever we can through disaster recovery and our disaster recovery services. So when people reach out to us, we want to be able to respond and deliver to whatever they need. The need are, their needs are in, at that particular moment. Uh, so we're constantly serving the community. We're constantly looking at what is it that they need, what's their current need at this moment, and mm-hmm. how can we respond to that? Indeed. You listen to Access Houston talking to Fred Goodall, the director of marketing at Baker Ripley. The Baker Ripley Houston Turkey Trot is uh, coming up really, really soon. Of course, it is happening next month. And um, the annual event. You guys have been, how many years has it been? Oh, it's been uh, 27 years. 27 yes. years. Yes. So uh, tell us about the turkey trot. What is it? I know people are listening like, so what, you guys have turkeys out there? Are they racing each other? Are there, is, is there running involved? Yes, there is running involved. Uh, but so, explain the, the turkey trot. Yes. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun, by it's the a way. Lot I posted of fun. Yes, uh, yes. on Thanksgiving morning. Yes, so uh, about uh, 13,000 runners and supporters come out every year and volunteers as well. 
so we have a uh, Philips 66 uh, 10K and Philips 66 5K, and yeah. there's also a kids run, which is lots of fun. Uh, kids get out there and enjoy themselves, and they get very competitive, uh, <laughs> by the way. Yes, they do. <laughs> yes. I remember last yes. year. Yes, but it's, it's just so great to see so many Houstonians come out when you stand at the start line and just look across the sea of people, and just knowing that so many people are coming together for one common event, for one common purpose, to have fun, to enjoy themselves. And if you come out and run or even walk, it's up to you. Then you have a lot less guilt on Thanksgiving Day and yes, eat whatever yes, you want to eat. Yes, indeed. But yes. when you hosted last year, uh, KG, uh, I appreciate one thing that you did when you started asking people uh, where they're from because it really blew my mind because people came from all over the world. All over. I was so surprised uh, from every continent all across the planet, there are so many different people, so many cultures. Uh, oh, it was just so amazing to watch. Like, yeah. wow, I did not know. Yeah. I, I've been doing this for a while. I did not know that it was so culturally diverse. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> um, yes. and, and, and I'm glad that you uh, yes. liked that piece. I don't, yes. I don't even know what prompted me to, <laughs> to do that because the energy is so amazing and it's so much fun. I mean, I'm talking Tens of thousands of people. If I had to guesstimate, I don't know, maybe about 16,000 folks. I don't know if I'm, you yeah. know, in the ballpark. Well, it averages around 13,000, but Thir- it fluctuates. About 13, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I yeah. mean, it was, I was surprised at <laughs> yes. how many people yes. were out there yes. on uh, Thanksgiving morning. Yes. So, and Houston, so many people have uh, done this for many, many years. We have a yeah. few people who've done it from the very first race. Wow. And they've brought their family back every, every single year. Every year. So it's, it's, it's really a Thanksgiving uh, Day tradition for yes. a lot of families yes. to participate in the turkey trial. Yes. And this race supports everything that we do at Baker Ripley. So the proceeds from this race supports our work, supports our community, and supports us working to make Houston much stronger. Indeed. So um, save the date. Uh, Thanksgiving, thir- Thanksgiving Thursday, November 28th um, uh, in the Galleria area. Yes, is in the Galleria be? area. Yeah. The start line is uh, right by the Dillard's. Right by Dillard's. Yeah. And it's it's so much fun. And your money is going toward, as uh, Frederick said, everything that Baker Ripley um, does. Where can they go to? Sign up to register for the run. I mean, because they got you got time. Houston. <laughs> yes. we're, we're getting you in early. Yes. Go to Houston Turkey Trot dot org to register for the race and learn more about uh, Baker Ripley and how the race supports us. And you can also follow us on social media at H uh, O U Turkey Trot on the various social channels. Indeed. Um, what else should we be uh, getting ready for that Baker Ripley has coming down uh, to uh, close out the year or, or it's something that we should know that's happening at the beginning of 2020? Well, I mean, even even for uh, Turkey Trot, if you don't want to run, you can always come and volunteer. We're always looking for volunteers in every aspect of our work. So Turkey Trot is one of our biggest volunteer opportunities. Many school groups and church groups come out to get their volunteer hours, and mm-hmm. they enjoy loving. They enjoy it so much they come back year after year. So there are so many people who come out for that. Uh, just overall, if you need to volunteer, Baker Ripley has plenty of volunteer opportunities. Uh, just go to our website, bakerripley.org, and uh, look under the Volunteers tab, and you can find out what's available and what interests you. Uh, and, of course, we're always looking for Houstonians to support our work. Uh, so so we believe that uh, we have a huge impact on this city and Absolutely. helping low-income in- people just take advantage of what's available and improve their lives. And that's what we're really about. So if that's something that resonates with you, please visit our website, bakerripley.org. Uh, if you feel inclined to make a donation, that would be fantastic. Uh, but you can also read about, go to our blog, read about the stories, how the lives are impacted, what we're doing in this region. We've been doing it for 112 years. Uh, I think we have a good track record, and Absolutely. I think it's something that uh, many people will be willing to support. Indeed. So, as you said, log on to BakerRipley.org for all of the information on what they do on the Houston Turkey Trot, which is happening on Thanksgiving Day, November 28th. And, man, it's just it's good to see yeah, you. It's good to I see mean, you, what, too. What, what, I think we ran into each other at, a, I don't know if it was a concert, or somewhere I saw you out. You yeah, had, I think the you last had so time many things. it was at the auto show. Uh, the auto the, show, yes, yeah, the that's auto what it show. was. Yeah. Yeah, 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 indeed, man. Good to see you. <laughs> yes, right? by the way, KG was the only one who had the... Uh, 
Cuban attire. Oh, oh you got tie <laughs> <laughs> These are facts. Right. I was the one. I was like, wait, I thought it was a Cuban thing. Everybody else said, you're right, Fred. You're right. <laughs> Frederick J. Goodall, the director of marketing at Baker Ripley. Man, good to see you. Thanks good for coming on. Good Sunday morning. You're listening to Access Houston. I'm your host, KG Smooth. Welcome back on the program. She's, she's right back, a friend to the show uh, from the Health Museum. The lovely Latanya Miles is back. Hi. Hi. Thank you for having me. Oh, no problem. Uh, it's, it's always good to see you all. Uh, so this month, you guys are uh, doing something at the Health Museum. Um, Free Family Thursday Thanksgiving on a dime That's event right. series. Um, this sounds very, very interesting. So explain this concept that you all are doing for Thanksgiving. All right. Well, Thanksgiving on a dime is really sharing an awareness that Thanksgiving doesn't have to be an expensive holiday. Yeah. You don't have to break the bank to have a balanced, healthy meal. And we do this in a way that people get to really learn and practice what they can do. We have a competition coming up on the 21st and they get to compete with other contestants and make a really healthy, balanced Thanksgiving meal. Hmm. So yeah. this coming with random Thursday. ingredients, they get a basket. They don't uh -huh. know what they're gonna get, uh -huh. and they open that basket, and then they get started cooking what would be a, a meat, a protein, and vegetables and sides. And then we have celebrity judges, our local celebrity judges from you know local area restaurants, and they help them along, coach them along for an incredible meal that will be judged and prizes awarded. So it's a really fun, intense competition. It sounds fun and intense. And and, and um, the way that it sounds, it reminds me of um, something like, I don't know, like a Top Chef or um, what's another one of those cooking Cut shows? Chef. Where they gotta, which one? Cutthroat Chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the idea. That's so the we idea. want to surprise it. We want to make it as interesting and fun as possible, right? Healthy eating, cooking doesn't have to be boring. It could be fun and exciting. And that's what we aim to do. So people walk away with tips on how to use coupons. People learn, you know, how do you shop with coupons? Where are they giving out rebates for turkeys? And you can really feed a family of four for under twenty dollars for what? Thanksgiving. Did okay. you know that? That isn't that interesting? That's really, that, people that don't is, believe it, but it's yeah. true. I'm like, wait, what, how, Sway? Where? <laughs> Where do they do that? <laughs> exactly. Well, we are doing it at the Health Museum. We're teaching people how to do it at the Health Museum. So you think about it. You have coupon shopping. Right. You don't always have to have a big turkey. You can do Cornish hens. Mm -hmm. You can have, we can even, we have one of the professors who's our judge who actually shows people how to go to the dollar store and do a whole Thanksgiving meal from the dollar store. So, I mean, you can be creative. It doesn't have to be a traditional meal. Think about all alternatives, but there's also coupons. There are also rebates. There are people who are giving away turkeys. There are ways that you can really feed an entire family of four for under $20. So what was the, um, whose idea was this? What was the inspiration behind this? First of all, I mean, it's great. It makes all the sense in the world. I mean, if, if I can get a Thanksgiving meal for under 20 bucks, I mean, sign me up. I'll, <laughs> I will be there wherever we're shopping. I don't care if right? it's the dollar store or Aldi's or <laughs> wherever it is. Take exactly. me there. Um, but so creative and different um what was the inspiration behind this so you know we always want to create immersive experiences we don't want to just tell you how to be he healthy we don't right. want to just say oh you can go out and you know feed a family of four for under 20 dollars we really want to create an experience and so from that, how do we do that? We give you the tools to do it. We give you, you know, we, we pack a basket and we want to make it fun, but all in an effort to really teach people how to have a healthy, balanced meal. And these are tools that they don't have to just use for Thanksgiving. It's great for Thanksgiving, but you can use these tools all year round. And with the holiday season coming up, right, it's not just Thanksgiving, yeah. it's Christmas. It's Christmas, yeah. And all of these tips and tools are useful throughout the year and especially the holiday season. But again, we want to create experiences for people that are immersive, where they're getting hands-on practical tools that they can walk away with and use back at their home and their kitchen. And, you know, it's all about being healthy in realistic ways that people can readily apply. I love it. You're listening to Access Houston talking to Latanya Miles from the Health Museum. Thanksgiving on a dime. Thursday, the 21st, 2 until 7. As you heard uh, LaTanya explain, uh, there'll be some folks there. That they're going to have to go through the whole gamut. <laughs> Do they have a budget? 
So is there is, is there a particular amount? Of, do they have just the twenty dollars so to spend? They, how, or how does it walk us through it? Okay. So here, so you know, and it's in another part. I want to also add another part of the mm-hmm. inspiration. We have an exhibit that's entitled "Our Global Kitchen." Mm-hmm. So it's also a tie-in. We do it annually, but it also is another way to look at sustainable um, food sources. How do you not always look at meat, potatoes, whatever? Looking at alternative sources for food sources. Sure. So that's part of the inspiration as well. I don't want to leave that part out. Sure. But to walk you through the experience, so. People sign up, they can register online or they can register on site and we'll have three stations set up. Okay. At each station, you'll get a random basket. There'll okay. be random ingredients. It could be tofu, it could be, you know, greens, it mm-hmm. could be asparagus, it could be um, seaweed, mm-hmm. random noodles, okay. random ingredients. And you have to really think through, how do I create a balanced meal? And you have a time limit. Um, we give everyone 30 minutes for their preparation, and they get 30 minutes to prepare and execute. And then the judges, we also have judges who are going to kind of coach people through. And these are chefs from, you know, Houston restaurants. We have um, Chef Chris Williams from Lucille's. We have um, local area professors who will really coach the contestants so that they're not just thrown out there. But if they've ever wanted to be on one of those cooking shows like, you know, Top Chef or Cutthroat Chef, they have the opportunity the to do it. This is perfect rehearsal right for them or the, the run through for them. Uh, exactly. When they show. And so they then go through, they prepare their, their three stations with burners, ingredients, seasonings, all those things there for them. They prepare their meals and then the judges sample. Mm. And they taste and they vote and then we determine a winner. So it is really, again, hands on. They have to think through it. They get a little bit of help, but they really have to be creative in their approach. And that's what we hope that people walk away with, creative tools for healthy living. And that's what I would I would want to really want to be there for, to see the creativity, because to get random food items to have to prepare a meal. I mean, I'm floored when I watch it on, you know, shows like you mentioned, like so top, like Cutthroat Chef and, and, and Top Chef or, or and things like that. Um, so just to watch them say, like the, the items that you mentioned, like that is wild. <laughs> you know, tofu, uh, asparagus. Uh, what else did you say? You said yeah, you can have seaweed. seaweed. Maybe you yeah, have yeah, canned yeah. turkey. I do love seaweed you know, salad. Cornish head. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Random things. And I think, you know what, I think people are surprised at what they came up with. Last year when we did it, it was so incredibly exciting to watch. So yeah. I, I hope you'll join us and, and come see for yourself firsthand because it really is fun to watch. Even if you're not a participant, it's incredible to watch. Indeed. You listen to Access Houston talking to Latanya Miles from the Health Museum. Thanksgiving on a dime uh, this Thursday at the Health Museum. As you, It, it sounds so exciting and wonderful. What what is your favorite Thanksgiving meal dish? You know what? We do seafood dressing. And seafood that is dressing. my absolute favorite dish. <laughs> I've never <laughs> heard Thanksgiving. of s- seafood dressing. So what, I mean, of course, I'm sure it's dressing, but instead of what, the cornbread, you guys substitute it with shrimp or crab? Or... Exactly. So you have a typical cornbread dressing. Mm-hmm. And I will say this, my mom and I make this together and we have this, you know, it's our dish that we take for family at Thanksgiving. But yeah, you do a traditional things, uh, cornbread dressing and you add whatever seafood. We tend to just do shrimp and crab, but it's my favorite. Wow. How about you? Whew. I... I'm not going to even lie, Latanya. <laughs> I I love all the sides on Thanksgiving. So mm-hmm. give it all to me. Give me the dressing. Give me the yams. Give me the greens. Give me the macaroni and cheese. All of I it. don't even have to have the turkey or the the ham or the turducking or whatever yeah. it is that yeah, you that. know one may have for the <laughs> right. meat. I'm satisfied with all of the sides with um with some cornbread. And a nice glass of red wine, and I am, I'm a happy man. You can't beat that. I love those sides, too. You cannot beat that. And the wine to boot. And a wine to boot. Come (laughs) on, now. (laughs) And they have health benefits to wine, too, so it's all, you keep it healthy. Um, Absolutely, absolutely. Helps keep you looking young. Hey. Come on I'm now. all for it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. And I'm all for this Thanksgiving on a Dime event series. They've been doing it all month. So Thursday um, is the last uh, competition before actual Thanksgiving on the following Thursday, the 28th. So um, 
you said they can sign up on site. They can still uh, sign up now where they need to go. Yes. So if they go to our website, which is the www.thehealthmuseum.org, and they can register. They go to uh, the link that says Thanksgiving on a Dime, and they can register. And we look forward to people joining us and walking away empowered with the tools for healthy living, which yeah. is really what we're all about. Absolutely. Absolutely. So if you have those... Uh, culinary chops if you if you're talented in the uh culinary department uh we want to see you on thursday for thanksgiving on a dime this is this is wonderful like i i feel as if um have you guys been documenting this like is there you know what videoing it because i mean this could really be a thing it is really you know what last year was our first year with the intense competition the fun competition so this year we will definitely be documenting we'll be taking tons of photos and footage and that way we can share it but yeah, yeah it is it is so much fun and we are so excited about it i mean it's not only fun but people walk away with real tools that they can use in their lives yeah. you know and i think that's the big that's the big picture and i we love it and it's who doesn't fun. want to know and learn how to prepare a meal for under 20 bucks i mean we all could use a little Come savings, on. right? A little penny pitching here. You better tell me about it. I mean, <laughs> I'm living, you're talking to a single man. I pay all the taxes for all the things. So, yes, it could help me out a, a whole bunch. Yes, all, for all the single people. Exactly. And, and families, you know. I mean, a lot of times you think about Thanksgiving and you think about families. But, hey, the single people single, need tools for a healthy living and well, cutting corners on spending as well. So when I was on um, our sister station, Magic 102.1's uh, Facebook Live the other night when I uh, was doing the quiet storm, um, yeah. they asked me what I was doing. I was like, oh, I don't know yet, but if I'm uh, going to be by myself, it's going to be um, Patty LaBelle is going to do <laughs> uh, my Thanksgiving because I'm going to go to Walmart and I'm going to buy all of her <laughs> new dishes that are there the greens the mac and cheese <laughs> the uh, the the candy yams or the souffle she has something uh, with that so yeah she has a whole line mm -hmm. uh, not just the cakes and the pies I've but heard. other things yeah i was like so um yeah, so you and patty will be having thanksgiving today if, 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 <laughs> if i'm by myself but i'm i'm sure somebody's going to invite me somewhere um but i'm definitely uh, interested in learning how to prepare a festive meal for under yeah. 20 bucks so listen log on to the healthmuseum.org to sign up for Thanksgiving on a dime. Uh, this is incredible. Latanya, so good to see you. Thank you so for coming on again. So good to see you. Thank you again. again for having me. Uh, this pleasure's all mine. And thank you for listening to Access Houston. We'll be back with more Access Houston on 97.9 The Box.